I've warned many times about how rigged and how propped up everything is. And here recently, Goldman's vice president himself busted in rigging and setting up stuff. I talked about that in a separate video. But we have some of the top financiers connected to Goldman now saying that if Trump wants to win this trade war, so to speak, that the market pretty much has to come crashing down. And others are looking and saying, well, it sounds ridiculous. Other people are looking at it and saying, oh, no, it looks like we're heading in a good direction. Others disagreeing. You know, all this back and forth. But you know, following trade announcement over the past few days in terms of the trade war being on hold and then basically it's on full blown people not knowing what to make of it which way it's going and a lot of the world looking saying that uh, the united states and the upper echelons of it are in utter chaos but trump puts out a tweet saying the united states must at long last be treated fairly on trade if we charge a country zero to sell their goods and they charge us 25, 50, or even 100% to sell ours, he says that's unfair and it can no longer be tolerated. I get that on the surface. The problem is, is so many of these deals are tied to other things. There's a reason why they're getting a deal cut over here and over there because of other deals that are all connected together that they're not mentioning. Now, they first want to cite here that sudden changes in policy are behind some of this, and that's because they're saying that there's different people that are advising the president that have different viewpoints. And secondly, that even though they're trying to target, like I said before, the whole intellectual property theft by China, it seems to be on the side burner, so to speak, in terms of all this. The president seems to have focused more specifically on heavy industry like steel or on the auto sector. And he recently said here that if they put any tariffs on auto, there would be nothing to gain for the U.S. Now, they go on to state that keeping things like this keep voters engaged, more, more or less on the edge of their seat. Everyone guessing of what's going to happen next and where this is going to go. But they also cite here that Trump put a warning out, and he did. A couple months back, or a, quite a while back, as he had said, you know, you might take a hit and feel this in the stocks. So he, he warned that, specifically, that stocks may take a hit. His exact words. He explicitly warned that. So, how far, how big of a hit is the question? If they do, indeed. Here on this world stage, this is some of the latest. I'm going to leave a link. And I'll continue to update as I come across more. This has been Dabu7. And this is Kaluminati.